folks. Today I'm going to do a video on truly tropical plants that grow far north of the tropics. So on the left here we have Musa acuminata, that's dwarf Cavendish banana, and I overwintered that in the house last year. And um, I brought it as a six inch plant, and uh, this year I put it into a five gallon pot. From when I bought it in a six inch uh, pot I stepped it up to a two gallon size. It quickly filled the pot up with roots, and this year I noticed it's got some pups coming up beside it. I always leave the pups. I put the tops of some pineapples in there we ate and uh, they are rooted in so it's growing some pineapples in there now and uh, that one will actually produce edible bananas in time. So that's a Musa acuminata, a pretty common tropical banana you can pick up in the nursery. I picked that up at a grocery store here. And then on the right we have Cocos nucifera. That is a truly tropical palm tree. That's a coconut palm and you can see it growing right out of the coconut and uh, I stepped that up to a five gallon pot this has to come in in the winter time. Much more tricky to overwinter than the banana. These are very susceptible to spider mites indoors. They like high humidity. They need about eight hours of sunshine uh, each day and a temperature of over 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, like I say, high humidity. And uh, inside the house in the winter time, we burn wood to heat it. So it's gonna be dry heat. So that will uh, probably bring on some spider mites. So I'm gonna have to mist it a lot. So really tricky. One of the most trickiest palm trees to grow north of the tropics inside as an indoor plant. So if I can get it through the winter, I'll be happy. This is about the fourth attempt at growing this. Uh, the longest I've ever had one is about four years. I used to bring them back from Hawaii as little sprouted palms. This one I picked up at Home Depot loco coco and uh, hopefully we can keep this guy going so I'm determined so stay tuned for a updated video on this coconut palm this one's growing in full sun on our uh, south sun deck here along with this banana I just finished watering that they take a lot of water to keep them happy all right folks try these if you do live far north of the tropics but give them proper care and uh, maybe you will succeed banana no problem that's tricky. I know a few people that grow the coconuts in colder climates and actually have success. So, but like I say, they're a very tricky plant to grow. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.